Hello everyone, I'm Natasha and uh, welcome back. So I hope you all are fine and in our today's video uh, we'll be discussing about uh, chapter number two, relations and functions. So, um, uh, you know, in the last video we were discussing about, uh, you, uh, you know, the actually we did some questions, you know, we just cast out some questions and uh, solved them and uh, we uh, we did a lot of things. So whatever it is, but so in, in our today's video, we'll, we'll be discussing about relations. So finally, relation topic is coming. So relation, I told you a little bit about uh, relation in the last video. So let's get started with this one. Okay, so relations and functions. So a relation. Relation. So a relation between two sets, between two sets, two sets, a relation between two sets is a collection, is a collection of ordered pairs, ordered pairs, Containing, containing one object, containing one object from each set. Okay, so relation. A relation between two sets is a collection of ordered pairs containing one object from each set. So, uh, what does that mean? It's in the simple language, you know, it's telling us the relation between two sets that we're going to have. So, it's, the relation between the sets is just going to tell us, you know, it's like there will be a collection of ordered pairs containing one object from each set. Like, if we have two sets or three sets or more than like three sets, whatever it is going to be, it's, it's going to be a collection of ordered pairs. Going to contain one object from each set. Okay, so let's take an example. So, for example, okay, um, I'll be taking a uh, really easy example in which we'll be talking about the Cartesian product of sets also, uh, you know, which is also known as cross product. Okay, so, yeah, uh, let's say we have two sets, set A is equal to the elements A, B, and C. Uh, and set B is equal to, um, let's say, uh, oh, let's take numbers, okay? Let's take numbers because we have already taken it alphabets as the elements. Let's take numbers to, uh, to show you a little difference. Uh, let's say one, two, and uh, three. Okay, so set A is equal to the elements A, B, and C, and set B is equal to the elements one, two, and three. So, uh, first of all, let's find out the, find A cross B. That's what we're going to do first. Okay, so first we're going to look at for A, the Cartesian product of these two sets. So, it's going to be a little long, so let's write it. So, the first part that we're going to have is A to 1, then A to 2. A to 3, then B to 1, B to 2, B in 3, then C and 1, C in 2, and C in the 3. That's it. So how many other, uh, how many number of folded pairs we're going to have? So there will be like 4, plus uh, 5. So there are going to be 9, 9 ordered pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so yeah, including all the elements, and it was, and we were talking about the A cross B. So first, the elements of A, then the, uh, then the elements of set B. Okay? Yeah, so that's how we're having, so we can, uh, we can obtain subset, we can obtain a subset of A cross B, including a relation R. Yeah, that's a relation R that we're going to talk about in our 
uh, sets topic, you know, in the, yeah, in basically in the Cartesian product. So, um, uh, you know, so it's gonna be, we're gonna write it like this way. So it has nine ordered pairs. Wait a second. Yeah, nine ordered pairs. And, and, uh, and about the relation that we're gonna talk is, let's say, um, the relation R is going to be the ordered pairs X, Y such that, such that X is the first, is the first letter, letter of the name, of the name Y, comma, X belongs to set A and Y belongs to set B. Yeah. So there's one thing that I'm going to say is that the relation, suppose we have the ordered pairs X and Y, in which the X is the first letter of the name Y. Uh, so it's simply just saying that X belongs to set A, which means that X is going to be the first element. So which means that it's going to be the element of set A. So X is going to belong, so X belongs to the set A and Y belongs to the set B as it's in the second element. As it is the second element, so it will be, uh, so it will of course belong to the second set we have it, set B. Okay? Yeah, that's what we have. So this is how we're going to have a relation. So this is what we're talking about, the relation. So relations like telling us that uh, what's the relation between two sets? Like what kind of relation are they having? Like uh, maybe, uh, let's say that we, if they're empty sets, which means that they're not having any connection between each other they're not having any connection or they're having any uh, or, or they're having a connection of you know it's kind of like uh something that it's all uh, as i've said that it's an empty set in which you know that means that it has no elements the set which has no elements this is what we're basically we're going to say the empty set so it's just the relations telling us the connection between the two sets like how are there how are they making a relation between you know each other that's what a relation you know, between sets is uh so uh, let's move on so in the relation we're going to talk about the three things domain range and codomain and uh, so these are like the main three things that in which, uh, you know, that we'll be talking about, uh, that we'll be talking in a relation topic. And so, but before that, before moving on to our next uh, topic, uh, I'm going to say one more thing is that, uh, as we can see that I'll be like repeating everything that is written here. So, what is it? So, the relation, a relation between two sets is a collection of ordered pairs containing one object from each set. As we can see that it is having a relation. So, the collection of ordered pairs containing one object from each set. So, it's like having, we're having our first element with the second element. Then the second with the first and like all the relations we're making. Like all the pairs we have made. So, there are like total nine ordered pairs. This is how we're having a relationship. So, this is kind of like a relation is just telling the connection between those two sets and the relation if we're going to talk about so we have uh, we can obtain a set and uh, that was ba uh, that was basically a cross b isn't it that was a cross b so how can we obtain a subset so yeah what i'm what i'm talking about is that we can obtain a subset of a cross b by including a relation r between the first element let's say x and the second element y okay and you know of each other order pairs x y as i have written that x is the first letter of the name y in which the x belongs to set a and the y belongs to set b so this means x is the first element and y will be the second element which will be belonging to the second set we have it set b and it's the same in, the, in, the, in this case it's also just the same so um yeah so that's it. So let's move on to our next topic and that we'll be discussing about domain. So domain range and codomain are the main things uh, about the relation. So, um, like, oh uh, yeah, I have some space left. So I'm going to write, I'll be writing it here. So, okay. So domain, 
domain what's a domain so domain is basically the set of the first elements the set of all the first elements we have the set of all all the first elements elements so its domain is the set of all the first elements we have in the uh, you know the ordered pairs of sets we have uh, and the relation are of course and uh, about the range is all all of the entities entities here basically I'm talking about the output entities the output so all of the entities in the uh, you know in the relation or whatever we're having in a relation or a function yeah in the function also we'll be like discussing about domain range and codomain all these things so that's why you know like these things are similar to a uh, relation and function like in both both uh, both the topics so yeah what I was saying is that output which emerge from a relation or a function as I was as I was just saying which emerge so all of the entities output which which emerge which emerge from a relation so we'll like we'll be discussing only about the relation so I'll be I'll be only this I'll be only mentioning the relation not the function right now okay so which emerge from a relation is uh, is called range is our co range so that's what we have the range okay that's it so all of the entities the output we have which emerge from a relation is uh, is called range so all the entities the outputs all the outputs that we're having in the you know the which emerge the outputs which emerge from a relation are called range and the set of all first elements are called domain so domain is actually like in a, another way i'll be saying that domain is actually uh you know all of the values that go into a relation all of the values that go into a relation so i can write it all of the values that go that go into a relation into a relation okay so the set of all first elements is the domain and the, or we can say that all of the values that go into a relation so it's like the inputs and the outputs we have the two things i can say uh, which i will show you in the error diagram also so the next thing we'll be discussing about is codomain. Codomain. So codomain, I can say it's the set of all second elements. Second elements. So codomain will be the set of all second elements or I can also say in a different, in a just a little different way that it is the set of its possible outputs, the possible outputs that we're going to get. So now we'll be discussing about error diagrams so that you can clearly, uh, so that we can clearly understand about domain range and codomain because, you know, these are just the three basic things that, that are going to be in the relation and in function also. So, um, you know, let's take, uh, let's, you know, understand them by taking a question. So I'll be writing a question right here because I have a lot of space here. Okay. So a question is going to be really simple as we're just still understanding these things. Oh, uh, wow. Like the mark is really light. Maybe I'm going to change it. Yeah. Questions. So what question should I take? Because the question is going to be really in a simple way and so that we can understand it. Okay, so I'm going to take set A. Set A and the relations like this, this way. Okay, so question number one is set A is equal to the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So set A is equal to the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Define, define a relation. Define a relation 
Oh, just wait a second. Let me check the camera. Like everything's all right or not? Okay, so. Everything's all right. It was just a little blur, like uh, it's not, it was not a little clear. So now I hope it's going to be clear. So define a relation R, R from A to A, from A to A. And uh, we're going to take it's, uh, and there are going to be two parts of this question we'll be solving in, the, in which the first part will be like discussing about the error diagram and the second part, like we'll be discussing about the domain range and code domain. Okay. Okay. So let's write the question. Let's write the complete question. So uh, define a relation R from A to A by the R is equal to the ordered pair we have X, Y such that y is equal to x plus 1. Uh, that's it. x plus 1. So first part is to de depict depict the relation. I'm going to write it again. It's not clear. Depict this relation Uh, where is it? Yeah. Depict this relation relation using using an arrow diagram. Arrow diagram. Okay. Can you see the Can you see the first part? The question's first part. Arrow diagram. Okay. Uh, let me write it, the diagram, diagram right here, so that you can see each and every word clearly. So depict this relation using an arrow diagram. So arrow diagram is just a, it is a visual representation of a relation. Uh, yeah, visual, I'm going to say it's just really small definition. Visual representation of a relation of a relation okay a visual representation of a relation so it's like visually representing the relation by using error diagram so error diagram is the re visual representation of a relation that's what it is like uh, we use uh, when diagrams for uh, representing the relation uh, representing the sets and it's just, just the same way that we use error diagram for representing the relation okay yeah so, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the camera might be like a, a little, uh, you know, shift or what? It's like it's not on the, it's not on this, it's not on its right position. But whatever, that doesn't matter. Matter. I, but I hope you can still see this part as we're discussing about this part for now. So depict this relation using an arrow diagram. So first of all, the relation that we're going to have is, um, okay, so the relation we're going to have is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, uh, 4 to 5, and 5 to 6. That's it. So it's a relation, it's a direct, it's, a, it's saying to define a relation from are uh, uh, from A to A. So it's A to A. So this is how the relation is working. And I will show you in the error diagram form also. So in error diagram, there's like just uh, two boxes. I can say boxes. This is X. Let's say this is X. But like these both are the set A. Okay, I can say. Yes, and the X will have, X is actually the first element. Remember, it's going to be the first element, which means that it's going to be, uh, we'll having uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And in this one too, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so as we're saying that Y is equal to 1 plus X, isn't it? Isn't it? So 1 plus x, which means x plus 1 is equal to y. Uh, as you can see, right, uh, 
Here I'll sell y is equal to x plus 1. So what is that x? So x is going to be the first element. So for the 1, the 1 that, that we're going to have is, uh, let, uh, let me tell you that how did I wrote the second elements, okay? And uh, how they're going to be correct. So it's saying y is equal to x plus 1. So y are the, all the outputs and this is going to be the inputs, okay? These are the inputs and these are the outputs we have. So y is equal to x plus 1. So let's say the x is, in the first condition, we have the x is 1. So x, 1, x plus 1. x plus 1, which means x is the 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2, which means that the, uh, you know, uh, getting my answer, uh, the answer we're getting is 2. So 2 is equal to y. So which means I'll, 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 I'll point it to 2 as it, as it's, you know, equal to 2. And with the 2, it's going to be with the 3, as x, x on the place, or 2. So 2 plus 1 will be 3, same as this one, 2, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, and 5 plus 1, 6. That's it in the end. So that's what we have. So see all the relations are. How many pairs do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 pairs, 5 ordered pairs we have in this. Isn't it? So this is how through the arrow diagram and through this, uh, through this uh, relation, we can just find out the relation in just a really easy way. So we'll be doing the second part now. As in, in the second part will be like finding the domain, domain range and codomain codomain okay so what will be the domain okay the range and the codomain okay so the first we have is domain so domain is actually that i've told you the set of all first elements. So all of the all of the values that go into a relation. So all the first elements that are in the relation are one, two, three, four, five. That's the first elements I've I've just written that. I've written that so one, two, three, four, and five, the last one we have. And the range is gonna be the second element, like the second element. All the second elements that are into a relationship. Uh, sorry, not in a relationship, like uh, not the kind of relationship, but in this kind of relationship with them. So uh, I, I, what I will say is that range uh, with the all the second elements that are into a relation, not the relationship. Uh, yeah, that are into a relation. So range is equal to the all the second elements we have. It's two, three, four, five. And the last one we have is 6. That's what we have. And the codomain. Codomain is the set of all the second elements. All the possible outputs. All the possible outputs. We have uh, all the possible outputs. So that is, this is what we'll call the codomain. The codomain, I've written the set of all the second elements. Like all the second elements that we have. So we have from 1 to 6. All, including each and every element. So this is what we'll have the codomain. Codomain is going to be from 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the range is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And domain is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is how we'll, uh, we can find the domain range and codomain. So I hope you have understood everything and the questions like clear to you. So we discussed about a lot of things in this video, like the relation, the arrow diagram, the domain, the range, and the codomain, and we did some examples also, and repeated some things also. So like we did a lot of things. So I hope we have fun. We have fun today. So um, so in the next video we'll be like continuing uh, after in the after this topic. So uh, you know. So that's all for today, and. Uh, Thanks for watching and have a great day.